Hello everyone, and uh, welcome to another New World video here. And once again, I want to thank the amazing support on the channel so far. You guys have been super supportive. Really appreciate it. Um, so today we're doing another sort of guide video. Um, just a big old tip to throw out there is how to get refining materials. Now, everyone's going to need these if you're doing any kind of crafting. And if you're not doing crafting... You know you're missing out on a big part of the game and as you can see here I'm only level 47 this is about two weeks into the game because I've been going super hard on my skills and making money as much as I can with the time that I'm able to play and uh, as you can see here I got a little bit here in my inventory um, and I also have a ton in my storage here in Windsward uh, so right now I have about a thousand saved up between all of my resources and um, that is a pretty good number considering I only grinded about three hours today worth of chess and I just kind of want to go over with you guys on the areas that I have noticed you know basically give out the highest return on these uh, refining resources so the first area that you guys are going to want to farm. Now when you're level 30, get to this area first. If you're trying to get these resources. And I'm telling you right now, if you don't even want to stockpile these and you're trying to make gold, this is a great way to make gold. Um, people are paying like 2-3 gold a pop. Now each chest you get is going to drop anywhere from 15 to 20 resources. So quick math there that's you know tons and tons of gold over the course of like two three hours so um and if you don't want to make gold from it you at least get tons and tons of these resources that you're going to need later when it comes to refining all these materials that you have saved up so that's the first area this area here weaver's fen um the second part is going to be southeast of brightwood so right about in this whole area here so this island is actually an area a group area um, there's also another group area that I'll show from uh, restless shore but focusing on this it's this area specifically right here Lake Geneva Geneva I don't know Geneva Geneva <laughs> that's a weird one okay well this area in general uh, produce a lot of chess and if you guys are curious I can hopefully pull up a map here for you guys now this is a free resource online just new world map and it's super useful you can use all kinds of show all hide all all kinds of specific things to show um, I'm sure a lot of you guys have used this already, but it's an amazing resource. So if we just take a glance here, right, what sticks out the most? I would say this middle section here, I wouldn't worry about these so much because they're tier one resources, which are not that great. And the big thing about these two tier, tier two resources are they give bonuses when you're refining materials. So you're going to level up way faster and they also drop a little bit more from these chests. Now, the only thing about this that is a little, you know, I'm unsure about is it starts basically at level 30. Now, before this, you're going to be having to grind the tier 1 crates, right? Um, and that's just, you know, is what it is until you get to around level 30. And as I said before, level 30, your sweet spot here is going to be Weaver's Fen. Now, it's not ugly, it's not fun, but hey, look at all these chests right here. You guys are going to kill it in resources if you farm this area. Um, and uh, as I said before, the area group here uh, is actually recommended for a group. Um, or I, I would recommend you guys do grow, go as a group. You can see even this small area too. You know, um, you got this one, you got these. You got these, and then you got this area if you want to go in as a group. 
And obviously you can rotate all these. And I think chests are on like a two hour timer, maybe an hour timer, probably an hour. And you can farm all these and then basically redo all of this. And the good thing is too, there's a lot of these gold chests here. And these guys drop pretty good gear um, for you get for early on, you know, for that level. Um, but moving on here over in Restless Shore, there's this area as well. Um, the Lost for level 45. And that's jumping up in level a little bit. Um, but these areas are definitely compact with a lot of chests. Same thing with this area. Just giving you guys a couple ideas here around the 40s too. Um, I haven't even farmed this spot yet, but when I was uh, a lower level, I was farming Weaver's Fen quite a bit. Now, the other spot that I really like here is um, Great Cleave. Great Cleave has tons of compact chest areas and tons of good resources too. I've been farming moats up here, and those uh, have been selling like crazy, and I'm trying to level, level up my Arcana, so... That's been super great too, but I would say this bottom area here is insane. Look at this. Look at the, that size of area and all those chests. This is absolutely nuts. You can run all this and probably have them respawn as you're farming it. So, and if not, you can run over here, go down here, and loop back around. I don't know if you can climb this mountain, probably not. But you can come over, hit this. It's actually way better to come up here and hit these guys. And then maybe loop to the left, hit this, hit this, and then come back down and hit this. It's, I mean, I've done this circle a couple times. I think that was the main portion of my two, three hours this morning that I got, you know, those 1,200 resources that I got, which are going to last you a, a long while. And, uh... One last tip, uh, I want to jump back in the game here, um, is the, uh, sorry about that, um, how you can basically transfer refining resources that you don't want to use into ones that you want to use. So say you have all this potent solvent that you don't want to use. I would recommend keeping this because it's good for um, mass remaking of materials. And because essentially you can take a higher level material and turn it into a lower level material. And repeat the crafting process in order to power level your skill. And it requires solvent to do that. Um, so I wouldn't do that. However, a lot of people are turning in their weaves, so their cross weave and their silk weave, into things like sandpaper and sand flux, one of the two of the most popular uh, resources when it comes to refining materials. And how you do that is we'll run up here to the um, faction vendor for your faction. And I'll show you guys what you can use. The so there's this the guy here. Woman, sorry. <laughs> um, go down here. And starting with a Templar, you can buy this common material converter. Now this is for the tier 1 mats. And you guys are going to have to farm some uh, faction missions. Which you should already be doing for a variety of reasons. But... I, I wouldn't recommend farming them like super hard or anything, but at least try farm them a good amount for um, these guys here. The advanced material converter. Fortunately, I don't have it unlocked yet, but I'm going to be unlocking it soon, and I will be turning all of my 800 other materials into sand flux. <laughs> so I can never run out of sand flux again. No, I'll probably turn it into an equal amount of sand flux and sandpaper, but um, yeah, that's uh, about all for the video, I believe. And yeah, I hope this guy this helped you guys. And um, please leave a like and a comment. It's like the secret sauce to get into that algorithm. So I really appreciate when you guys do that. Um, and thanks again for that one video that really blew up and 
all the support for the other ones as well. Uh, you guys have been super awesome, and uh, it's really humbling, so I appreciate it. All right, more, uh, more videos to come, guys. So hit the subscribe button, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.